Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit tutorial on Space Trusses. This is the second part of my Space Trust tutorial. So before I begin this tutorial, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button for more Autodesk Revit tutorials and don't forget to share this video and like this video if you found it useful. So without further ado, let's get started. So now we have to load in this Space Trust panel into our drawing file. So you just need to click on this load into project button if you just want to load the family into your project. Alternatively, you can just click on load into project and close. And you can find these two buttons in each of the tabs that we see here. So just click on load into project and it's already loaded in. So I'll just proceed to the second level over here. I've already prepared this drawing beforehand. I've already drawn in the grid lines. If you want to know how to draw in grid lines, watch my previous tutorial on grid lines. And I've already placed columns at the intersection points of my grid lines. So now let us model the space truss itself. So go to the massing and side tab and click on in place mass. So you should see this pop up emerge here massing. Show mass enable. Revit has enabled show mass mode so the newly created mass will be visible. To temporarily show or hide masses, select the massing and site ribbon tab and then click the show mass button on the massing panel. Masses will not print or export unless you make the mass category permanently visible in the view visibility slash graphics dialog. So just click on close and I'll name this as the space truss. And I'll use the rectangle tool from the model line button. And I'll draw the square from the center of this circular column here to the center of this circular column here. And hit escape twice. I'll proceed to a 3D view to select this square. Now let us create a solid form. And I'll make this as thin as possible. So now let's subdivide this surface that we've created here by selecting it and clicking on divide surface. So now you have grids U and V. So for our space trust panel, the dimensions are 2 meters by 2 meters. So both U and V must be 2 meters by 2 meters here. So change it from fixed number to fixed distance. Key in 2 meters here. I'll click on cancel. Sometimes uh, Revit has these errors pop up. So key in 2 meters here. Well, a uh, workaround that I have figured out is that you should start with the V grid. As you can see, I've already made it more refined by decreasing the distance to 2 meters between the V grids. So you can see that uh, from this point to this point is 2 meters. And I'll choose fixed distance as well. Okay, for this case, since Revit is not really cooperative, so I'll just leave the settings as is for the U grid. And I'll just... Oh, hold on, so... Okay, I've managed to get the in-place mass to work with 2 meters spacing for both U and V. So now let's select it and choose a pattern here. So we have the main space trust panel over here. And there we go, we can see the space trust panels over here. Completely drawn out. So click on finish mass. And you can see that this is our space trust over here for our a uh, big building over here. It could be an airport terminal or it could be a warehouse and so on. You might have noticed that we have some points sticking out over here that we don't want to have. Unfortunately, there is no easy solution to it. The only solution that I can think of is to create a custom space trust panel for the corners over here. So I'll just 
show you how to deal with one corner and then you should be able to do the rest on your own. So let's go back to the main space trust panel over here and I'll just quickly save it as another family. I'll just uh, call this as uh, edge space trust panel and save. And now let's analyze the situation that we have. So if you want to solve this corner over here, we can't have parts sticking out anymore towards the outside. So I will just quickly dissolve everything here just by selecting each one and dissolving it. Okay, so now that I've dissolved everything, we need to just get rid of the bits over here. So I'll just quickly delete these two here. But before I do, um, I'll just copy one of these out elsewhere or move it out elsewhere. And then I'll delete these two lines here. And delete these circles here, here and here. So I'll just draw in a reference line from this point over here, this point over here, the middle, like so. So if I were to view it from the top, yeah, it looks about right. And I'll just do the same for this side over here. Like so, and I'll just move this over here, and I can begin solidifying things again. Like so, save, and let's load into project, and let me draw it in this corner over here so let's use the massing inside tool again let's say uh, yeah, this is a corner so let me just draw the square over here so on the model square so let me just space that by two meters each side okay And let's select this plane and solid form this plane over here. And I'll make this as thin as possible. Like so. And then I'll just place the divide subsurface here. And change it to fixed distance. 2 meters. Fixed distance. 2 meters. Uh, hold on. Or you could try fix number place one and fix number place one as well. Like so. And let's place this here. Okay, so we have an error over here, so just click on cancel. So we just have to try figure out what the cause of the issue is. So let's try fixed distance again. And fixed distance. Okay, no error for now. Okay. Voila, so we've managed to paste in a corner piece. So let's rotate it. So if you were to scroll down, you can have component rotation over here. If you rotate by 90 degrees, it's still not facing in the right direction. 270 is facing in the right direction right now. So now we just need to draw in the pattern for our space truss for this long part here. And we're good to go. So let me just quickly finish this mass. So let's proceed to the 
space trust panel over here and let's save it as edge space trust panel in brackets number two so let's analyze the scenario again so we want it to basically be extending on the left and the right but we don't want anything coming out towards a camera here so that's the only fix that we need to do so right now back to the space trust panel let me just dissolve this here click on ok and let's recreate the reference lines over here so from middle of this line to the middle of this line here like so and from the middle of this line to the middle over here like so and let's move this back over here and select everything and solidify form whoops I guess uh, we need to copy another one of these circles out and select a new host over here okay so let's solidify things now and let's save it and load into project so now let us draw in this section here so let's proceed to level 2 again and click on massing and site you know the drill in place mass edge 2 I'll just name it as that and click on model and use the rectangle tool I will left click from here the center of this circular column all the way to about here and I'll just make sure that this is actually 2 meters over here like so and select the rectangle that we've created here go to the 3d view and create a solid form and change it to 0 0.01 meters and let's subdivide this over here and again we have to go through the hassle of dealing with potential errors as per usual so just be patient with Revit and Revit seems to be reciprocating nicely so that's a nice thing for change oops I forgot to load it into project and let's place in the custom bits that we've drawn out and yeah it looks about right so click on finish and I'll just quickly do up the rest of the sides and by the end of the video you'll see that everything is already completely drawn out and there we go I've managed to model out everything in front of you so this is the complete space truss for our airport terminal or whatever it is that you have in mind maybe a giant warehouse or a giant mall and that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial on modeling space trusses in a Revit project in the next Autodesk Revit tutorial I'll be showing you how to do glazings for these types of space truss structures so stay tuned for that and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials and as always stay safe keep learning and God bless